let us prepare a comparative income statement of XYZ Limited from the following information. So students, we are required to prepare comparative income statement of the name of the company is XYZ Limited. The information given here relates to year ending 31st March 2009 and 31st March 2010. We are given net sales, we are given cost of sales, we are given indirect expenses, then we are given information about other incomes. Other income means miscellaneous incomes. And lastly, we are given tax. Now remember here, tax is given in the form of percentage. Now students, the format will go like this, comparative income statement of XYZ Limited for the year ending 31st March 2009 and 31st March 2010. Coming to particulars column first, we are given net sales, no gross sales mentioned here. There are no sales return. So we'll start from net sales only. Net sales. The previous year figure is rupees 20 lakhs. The current year figure is 25 lakhs. Remember, we must write here these figures are in lakhs, L-A-K-H-S, that is lakhs. Now, how to calculate absolute change? Absolute change represents the change in the net sales for these two accounting periods. This year, sales are rupees 25 lakhs and the previous year they were 20 lakhs. So, deducting 25 minus 20 would be 5 lakh rupees worth of absolute change in sales that means as compared to previous years the sales have increased by 5 lakh how do we calculate percentage change percentage change can be calculated by dividing this absolute change by the previous year figure that would be 5 lakh divided by 20 lakh into 100 5 lakh upon the previous year figure which in this case is 20 lakh into 100 that will give us 25%. Now students, out of net sales, we have to deduct cost of goods sold. So cost of sales is given to be 12 lakh for first year and 15 lakh for the current year. Less cost of sales. 12 lakh and 15 lakh for this year. Deducting it, we will get gross profit. For first year, the gross profit would be 20 lakh minus 12 lakh. That would be rupees 8 lakh. Then 25 lakh minus 15 lakh would be 10 lakh here. Now students, since we are using lakhs here, we must write in rupees here. Since you are already presenting the figures in terms of lakhs. Now let us calculate absolute change and percentage change for both these figures. That is for cost of sales and for gross profit. First of all, looking at cost of sales. This year the cost of sales was 15 lakh. The previous year it was 12 lakh. So the difference is 15 minus 12 that is 3 lakh. That means this particular year the cost has increased by rupees 3 lakhs. What would be the percentage change? The percentage change would be 3 lakh upon the previous year figure that is 12 lakh. 3 lakh divided by 12 lakh into 100 which again comes to 25%. Coming to gross profit. The previous year gross profit was 8 lakh and this year gross profit is 10 lakh. So absolute change would be 10 lakh minus 8 lakh, 2 lakhs. Remember and follow it closely that we are calculating absolute change by dividing the current by subtracting the previous year figure from the current year figure that is 10 lakh minus 8 lakh 
then 15 lakh minus 12 lakh. So we are deducting the previous year figure out of current year figure. The percentage change in this case comes to 2 lakh divided by 8 lakh into 100 that is again 25 percent. Now students out of this gross profit we have to deduct indirect expenses. Coming to indirect expenses, in the previous year, the value was rupees 1 lakh. And this year, the value is rupees 2 lakh. Calculating the absolute change, absolute change would be 2 lakh minus 1 lakh, that would be 1 lakh. Again, the same concept that is current year minus the previous year. How do we calculate the percentage change? That would be the absolute change 1 lakh divided by previous year figure which is also 1 lakh into 100. That means 100% change was there. So after deducting this, we will get operating profit. Operating profit. This operating profit can be calculated by deducting indirect expenses from gross profit, which in this case comes to rupees 7 lakh. And here it is 10 lakh minus 2 lakh, which is 8 lakhs. Now, let us calculate the absolute change. Again, just as in the previous cases, absolute change would be current year figure minus the previous year figure, which comes to 8 lakh minus 7 lakh that is 1 lakh then percentage change would be 1 lakh divided by 7 lakh into 100 which comes to approximately 14.2 percent then students other incomes are given there are no other expenses mentioned so we'll ignore them and come straight away to other incomes which would be added add other incomes other incomes would be 1 lakh for the previous year and 2 lakh for the current year now students again coming to the absolute change and percentage change absolute change in this case would be 2 lakh minus 1 lakh which is 1 lakh. The percentage change would be 1 lakh divided by 1 lakh which comes to 100%. Once we add this, we will get profit before tax. Students, I am using the abbreviation PBT which means profit before tax. It comes to 7 lakh plus 1 lakh which is 8 lakhs. And for the current year, it would be 8 lakh plus 2 lakh, that is 10 lakh. Again, absolute change would be 10 lakh minus 8 lakh, 2 lakh. And the percentage change would be 2 lakh divided by 8 lakh into 100, that comes to 25%. Now, students, profit before tax. We have calculated for the previous year as 8 lakh and for the current year as 10 lakh. On this profit, tax would be charged. You can see that tax here is given as a percentage and this percentage would be calculated on profit before tax. So in case of first year, the profit before tax is 8 lakh. The rate of tax is 50%. So we will deduct tax that is 50% of 8 lakh which is 4 lakh and for the second year it is 5 lakh. Now again coming to absolute change it would be 5 lakh minus 4 lakh which is 1 lakh. The percentage change would be 1 lakh upon 4 lakh into 100. 
that is 25 percent.